Okay, so three minutes on the Brazil situation. You probably hear some banging because uh, we're making a cake in the background. So uh, what is the situation? A big state in Brazil about the size of England is underwater, Porto Alegre. Uh, we've got friends there, uh, Ezequiel and Samuel and their church, um, which is all underwater. Uh, our friend Samuel recently got married and bought a house which is now underwater. Um, and uh, the cartels have moved in and as the floodwaters start to recede they're going in and robbing everyone because uh, they've had to evacuate so uh, they, when they do get back they won't have possessions um, and of course there's not a lot of clean drinking water because the sewage system gets involved um, and yeah it, it's quite a mess um, so that's going on and obviously a lot of dead bodies will be appearing as the waters go down so that's you know that that's pretty horrible so a minute on uh prayer points please pray for the government in brazil that they will get involved please pray for the aid workers for their mental health please pray for uh the families that uh, you you know children will be protected because a lot of children have lost their parents in this uh, they're just running around and nasty people are taking advantage of them okay um, there might be kids watching this so I'm not going to go into details but you can you, you can guess what's happening so please pray for the protection of the children please pray for the church there uh, both that it will be prospered after this and get its stuff back but all because there's not a lot of great insurance in Brazil uh, but also that it can look after people it can be the kingdom of God in that place um other prayer points yeah uh or, or you know things to think about that that aid can get in that the money internationally that's being given will actually get to people um okay so let's talk about what you can do well we just talked about yeah you can pray okay um jesus commanded the wind and the waves to stop and they stopped and he said look if you believe in me then the works that I did you will do and greater works also you will do than these so it's fine you can you can rebuke those those flood waters and command them to go down you can um, pray about the things we've talked about okay um, and you can give uh, the bible says don't give reluctantly Okay, don't give under compulsion. So if you feel your heartstrings really being pulled and you're like, oh, I must give, I must help, just sleep on it. Write down the amount that you think God wants you to give, sleep on it. And if you're still there when you wake up and you're not feeling compelled the next day, then sure, give. We're having a collection, so you can give to that. Um, and uh, yeah, you can pray. We're going to have a collection on Sunday, I think, and we're going to make sure the money gets to people that can actually get boots on the ground and get help. So don't worry about that because sometimes that's a worry. So thank you for listening and we'll keep you updated. We love you.